everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com and CBSN Denver here in the CBS4 studios for tonight's Xfinity Monday Live edition with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Brandon Stokely. Of course, Stokely talked a lot about free agency. Now that the Broncos have signed Graham Glasgow on the offensive line, what do you think might be their next move or at least positions where they should be targeting during this free agency? Well, I think period? you look at defensive line, obviously with Shelby Harris, Derek Wolf, Adam Gotts as all free agents and probably none of them returning. Uh, defensive line is, is a high priority. I also think wide receiver need to add another mm -hmm. piece there um, and maybe another cornerback, a cheaper cornerback um, and, and a veteran inside linebacker that's going to back up Todd Davis and A.J. Johnson. So I think you look at those positions, those would be the positions of need uh, that the Broncos could target. Not necessarily starters at some spots, but some veteran role players that, that can come in and, and be solid backups. You know, one of the things I like about you is that you're a former player. You've got your radio show every day on one for three, the fan was Zach by, but you still show up at press conferences. You and Vic Fangio had some nice back and forths <laughs> this year. That was a lot of fun to watch. What did you make of Vic in his first season and how he did as a head coach for the first time? Yeah, I thought Vic did great. Um, I thought he handled himself great. He was the same in training camp as he was when they were losing a lot of football games. He showed up at press conferences. He answered the tough questions and uh, I watched him on the football field, and he, he never panicked. Uh, and I, So I, I thought Vic handled himself very, very well for a first-time head coach. And he was also trying to figure things out, calling plays mm -hmm. as a head coach on the sideline, not being up in the booth. And I thought he did a good job, and I think we'll see him continue to improve and get more comfortable. And I, and I think you'll see the product out on the field do the same. The coronavirus has obviously had a big impact on the world, on sports in general as well, too. When... Put me in a kind of a player's shoes because you had guys who were coming out of college, right? Whether they be seniors or juniors, they declared for the NFL. They were supposed to go through some of their pro day workouts. They were supposed to travel around, some of them, have their top 30 visits with teams. What do you stress to those guys now that gyms are closing, now that they can't go to facilities and meet with these teams face-to-face? -face, how will that impact some players, and what would your advice be to them? Well, it's a huge impact. You know, you look at everything that's changing and the things that they have scheduled and planned to do, like you said, their pro days, their workouts uh, before the draft, uh, going to meet with these teams. So I think just try to stay in shape as best as possible. and. Um, you know, just just do what everybody else is doing. You know, just not do a whole lot and just try to stay healthy and, and, and stay safe. I mean, we're in uncharted territory right now. So um, but but definitely, you know, if you're in that position, this is what you've worked for. And now all of a sudden the game plan is changing for you. So just adapt to it and just um, take it easy and, and try to stay in somewhat of, of, of decent shape. Peer into your crystal ball for me. We didn't get to this topic on the show. Tom Brady, mm -hmm. where does he end up? Where does he play next season? I won't believe that Tom Brady's leaving New England uh, and, until I see it. And I don't care what ever anybody else says and what all these media reporters are saying and all this. Until I actually see it, yeah. then I'll believe it. Um, and, and so right now, if I had to guess or speculate, I, I think um, – I mean, all signs are pointing to Tampa Bay, but I wouldn't count out Oakland and John Gruden making that push to try to get him. Um, so if I'm guessing right now, I'll go Oakland Raiders. I know this. No matter where he plays. If it's not the if Patriots. It's if not it's not the, the Patriots, I'm, that's where I'm going. And if it's not the Patriots, this is going to be really weird watching Tom Brady and seeing him in any kind of different uniform next season if that is indeed the case. Brandon, thanks so much, man. Always thanks enjoy for having the visit. Me. And thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com and CBSN Denver.